So you can see I have my mat showing here and it's a 12 by 6 mat. Now to import the SVG I'm going to come over to Custom Shapes and click on that tab and you can see here there's under the import area there's one called SVG. I'm going to click on that and that will just let me find any SVG file that's sitting on my computer. So I'm going to select this simple frame.svg and you can see on the right here I get a preview of what that looks like. Now if it's a detailed file and I want a closer look I can click on large preview and that just shows me a larger view of the file that I'm about to import. So I'm going to close that and I'm going to click on open. And now you can see that this file has dropped onto my cutting mat. Now this is fairly small but because SVG graphics are vector graphics, they can be enlarged as much as you like without losing any crispness on the image. So I'm going to make this quite a bit bigger and all I'm going to do is just grab this lower corner double arrow and I'm going to drag it out. Now you can see it's getting quite large on my mat. And I can move it around anywhere on my mat and wherever I position it on my mat on screen is where it's going to cut on the mat on my Cricut. Now I'll just show you one other little thing here. If you grab either the side arrows or the top arrows, you'll see what happens is your image gets stretched either horizontally or vertically. And I'm just going to come up to undo and I'm going to undo that again just to come back to my original image. Okay, so now I have the image positioned where I want it on the mat and it's the size that I want it. So now I'm ready to go to Cut with Cricut, this little icon at the top here. And once my paper and mat are loaded in the Cricut, I can just click this button and it will go ahead and cut out this shape on my Cricut.